Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to part 30 of Let's Play, the best of money can buy on the Realm of Thrones mod. We are... Honestly, I think bullying at this point is probably the only real distinction of what we're doing to uh, the enemy here. Bird, face enemy! Like, we're not we're not having, letting them have a good time, really, are we? Attack! Yeah, we'll just let everyone charge. Again, this like like the last battle, and like a lot of battles, more than likely going to be having a ha having against the uh, the people, you know, the actual um, the Westerlands. We just we have superiority in units, in type of units, and because we don't own any land, we are literally the only people who can use these units. Which I think is always funny is when you were. Uh, because normally in Milo Warband, the whole point of it is you want, uh, you want, you know, loads of people. You want to be able to recruit your troops. You want to have a kingdom full of your troops. Whereas in this one, it's literally, uh, no, these are mine. You know, mine and the pie is underneath me, and that's it. And, you know, the only way to get them is either take them from me, if you can take me prisoner, or take them from, uh, well, well, before you could have took them from, obviously, our, uh, our uh, other lords. But, you know, those idiots couldn't run two coffers together, so... Yeah, we had to just incorporate them into our uh, battle structure. All right, infantry, archers, uh, could you be so kindly to uh, just absolutely rinse the enemy infantry? That would be very, very, very kind of you. They, my wife's getting much better as well, which is good. We're getting influence as we need, but most importantly, we are slowly getting the uh, in uh, the uh, renown we need to get to uh, Clan Tier Six. All right, let's go back over here. Oh, uh, yeah. There's Tina Brax. I've had you in prison before. I know that much. Come on, Tina. Let's do this. Add you to the uh, add you to the prisons. Hold our own. Yeah, again. Oh, no. Yeah, another fight where it's not really necessary for us to do anything other than just take them. I oh, made seven grand yesterday. Nice one. They yeah, are like legitimately. This is probably the best. Mer I think this, as some of you have said, as one of the guys watching have said, it's the best mercenary contract you guys have seen as well, which. Uh, well, it speaks a lot, doesn't it, really? What kind of shit mercenary contracts are? 360 is kind of the best you're going to get. But, either way, it doesn't really matter. Like we, It's not, you know, something that we need to worry about too much. As long as we are, uh, as long as we are making money, you know, we're on that way to making 10 mil. I think there will be like a snowball effect of once we get a certain amount of money, money will just, you know, rapidly increase. Or at least that's my hope. Whether or not it actually works out, I don't know. The best thing to do if you want like money to increase stupidly is to like fight for someone who has loads of enemies and, you know, just have an unlimited amount of like nearby people just chuck in prison. The biggest problem is the only person who that really was is the Westlands and well we I think at this point the Westlands are going to be destroyed which is eh, kind of a problem keeping the West like if we were allowed to serve for one as a mercenary to one faction for a while that would be probably you know would have made it serving the Westlands the legitimately best choice just because of how many sheer the sheer amount of people they you know they they're they, they are at war with but yeah unfortunately it's not that simple for us now because as usual we're slowly putting these idiots in prison that is a let me get a 400 nicer i was just trying to see how big that army got before my brain was like can i take that no i cannot don't get me wrong i know i took another 400 man army but that was uh in my opinion that was sheer fucking luck yours is not a okay you may leave because yeah uh, you were going somewhere where I didn't want to fight you, so there you go. Now you're somewhere I want to fight you, we'll fight, but... Yeah, village fights, not worth it. Keep eye on the enemy! Uh, what do they got? Castle Rock... Oh, they... 
Charge! Hold no point shooting, just charge. They don't have good enough men to make this worthwhile. <sighs> yeah, I think we're doing a little bit too much damage to the Westlands because they don't even have like... At this point, they're barely having Banner Knights. Ridiculous. How are we meant to uh, have fun if they don't have decent troops, you know? At this point, we're just being mean for the sake of being mean, which, I mean, in all fairness, is I'm completely okay with being mean for the sake of being mean, as anyone probably, everyone probably knows, but... Still. We good? Yeah, everything's fine. My wife is definitely marks. I do like that my wife is actually improving battle every battle. You know, even if I'm not, at least my wife's getting better. You know. These assholes have got a lot of people, which is really what we want to see, you know? Like, there is just so many people, Stop there. you know, we can just capture. We have 28. We're about to hit 30 lords. Good. Under my command. I will, uh, I'll organize my forces properly still, but I have a feeling I'm just going to end up charging. Will to enemy. Um, oh, wow. No, they have 40 banner knights, but... Charge! Honestly, again, still just worth charging. I'll at least charge properly this time, though. Yeah, well, we'll make sure uh, we take out their cavalry, because, again, they now have uh, at least 40 good cavalry. Sharp cavalry, that is. As soon as it comes to prolonged combat, though, they... So, see, look, they, 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 did to do da they, they did damage there. You know, they're not shit. We've got to give them that. It's just... Wow, they actually killed one of my, uh... They killed one of my men. How fucking dare you. They killed one of my cross... Wait. Damn, alright, fair enough. Killed one of my crossbows. I mean, at this point, it doesn't matter. I've definitely got enough Lannis to loot to, uh... You know, deal with any losses. It's when you don't have loot to deal with, like, uh... Like, re-upgrading troops to the, uh... The, you know, the pinnacle of what we would like. That's when it's annoying, but as soon as we have enough men, it really does, like, sorry, uh, you know, enough stuff in our uh, inventory. It really doesn't matter, you know? And we'll just go here and replace them, so we need a you and you. Alright, let's uh, get rid of those three. Crossbow and you. There we go. Could be a very quick uh, affair, just chucking this shit out. Or at least that's what I'd like to see. Ow, 3,000 XP for just those two, damn. Expensive. Uh, is that click? Oh, it's Gregor. Come here, Gregor. I'd love to add you to prison, bud. Well... Well, you may be extremely big, Gregor, but yeah, you're, you're not, or at least you're not intelligent in terms of what I remember in the book and what I remember, not in the book, sorry, the TV show. I, again, been a while, don't remember the book very well at all. I'm going to pull my crossbows back. There's a lot of Bannon. Yeah, he's pretty much only got Bannon Knights. Which means we're probably going to see my uh, some losses again. Simply because of the fact that, uh, you know, with enough Banner Knights, you will take, you will kill at least one or two troops. At least that's what I, what I preach. You know, I, I would assume they would anyway. If they don't, well, sucks to be you, I guess. Where's big old Gr Gregor boy? No, oh, he's already knocked out. 
pile of cocaine. I was kind of half expecting a decent fight there. I think that was the problem though. I was half expecting it. Uh, how many uh, we got? We got any hurting at all or are we good? Uh, we have got a little bit of hurting, yes. Still got a little hurting. Um... Still got a little bit of hurting there. There we go. Yeah, we've got to make sure we're uh, able to get people as... That guy's moving fucking quickly. We do have to remember, though, the more prisoners we get, the slower we're actually going to be able to be as well. That's kind of like one of the bigger issues we're going to run into if I want to get as many prisoners as I do. Oh, I want Tywin Lannister in prison. Yeah. Oh, yes. Tywin Lannister should be worth an absolute... He should be worth a godly amount of influence. Keep eye on the enemy! The question is, does he have a decent army? Uh, preliminary reports are, uh, no, does he fight? Forward! Move! Cavalry! Forward! Cavalry! Forward! Cavil move! Everyone, ready yourself! Troops! Forward! And move! Alright, everyone, get to position. Have a little bit of fun. Cavalry! It looks like majority, pretty much all of his cavalry is... Uh, he doesn't have any Westland Banner Knights. He's using Castly Squires, which... Yeah, no, that adds up. Lannister troops and Castly troops. That makes, you know, complete sense for a... Uh, Tywin. Lord of Casterly Rock, after all. Move! In forward! Order! Move! Cavalry! Move! Horsemen! Move that flank loads and loads around Roots. just to Move. fuck with the enemy a little bit. Forward! Cavalry! Forward! At this rate, honestly, charging might just be the best choice just because I don't think these guys are going to really... I don't think Tywin's army is going to really offer us anything of interest to fight. Infantry! Give them the cavalry! Horse! Infantry! Hold fire! Soldier! You guys, uh, skirmish as you will. No point bringing them closer, you know? Just not worth it. I see Tywin. Ooh, damn it. I was kind of hoping to take Tywin out in a single shot. You know what? I'm gonna take him out with his grandson sword. There we go. Nothing more cocky than taking them out with one of the uh, Lannister Valyrian blades that they uh, remade. That to me is definitely max tier cockiness. Yeah. I don't know how my crossbowmen are daring to shoot into combat. You know. Just given how many of our own troops are around there. They seem way too willing to shoot into uh into it. It's like I'm playing bloody Total War where your your archers are just more than willing to shoot into your own men. Ooh, Lordly Castle Rock Greaves. Good for us, I guess. Um, what we got here? Ooh, I leveled up this. There we go. Pick up cavalry. Um, uh, which of these dipshits can we catch? It's been a while. Well, that worked out way too well. The fact that these two just, you know, charged in there, and next thing you know, I've got a perfect. Oh, just, honestly, exactly what I was hoping for. Turn to enemy. Soldier forward! And move! Cavalry! Forward! Cavalry! 
Move! Move forward! Okay, for some reason they don't want to be in range, but there we go. But what I mean is my men don't want to shoot at them even though they are in range. Again, my men are aiming for the crossbows, which is not really like the they're I get why they're aiming for the enemy skirmishers, but at the same time I'd wish they would aim for the enemy infantry. They'd probably have a much better time if they did. There we go. See? Actually got a kill. Well, they actually... Okay, fair enough. They already had kills. Shh, it's okay. My dumbass doesn't know what he's on about, clearly. Alright. I sees it. Horseman! Alright. Charge! Hold arrows! Well, I should make this uh this fight a little bit easier. I was told by someone to put my mech cavalry into shield wall if you want them to stay tight. Uh, I did try it a bit late there, but we'll uh, we'll try that in the next couple of battles and see if that actually helps them, you know, do a bit of a more effective charge. Or if it just doesn't matter for me. It could be that that was on a uh, an Empire Divided a video. I actually don't remember what video that was on. So I should probably figure out what video that was on before I uh, say say I'm going to try that strategy. Because it may be completely and utterly pointless to try it. We shall see, though. I don't know where the enemy is. Oh, that's okay. That would explain why. They're all dead. Cool. Prison, prison. Only 16 more prison prisoners, and we can go home. I'm not home. We can go back to whatever the place where we're currently uh, residing. Yeah, these 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 swords are just getting absolutely ruined, and it's hilarious. Gavin Westerling. Yours Hello, Mr. Westerling. I, I yours another way. I thought we were. I thought we knew each other. Well, apparently not. Well then, I feel less bothered about putting you in, you know, prison now. Ready yourselves! Uh, oh, he's mostly just ban—he's bannerniting. So that's... So he's gonna bannernite and just charge. Infantry, attack! Hold fire! Everyone. There we go. Yeah, when when we're fighting because we're fighting bannernites, it's not worth putting the uh, effort into shield wall them. Well, again, I will. Oh, they they killed one of my cavalry. See you know what I mean? Banner Knights actually have a chance. All right. Oh, you little... That peasant ducked under my fucking spear. Well done, peasant. Well done. Proud of you. I mean, after all, we're from the Westlands. We don't, you know... I know we don't give a shit about the people from the Westlands, but at least we should be a little bit proud when they somehow manage to dodge our attack. I actually don't know how long we've had some of these prisoners, so I think we're doing a really good fucking job to say how long we've had some of these prisoners. All right, let's quickly add these up. Uh, we may want to go back soon, to be fair. Might, I might call it 40 instead of 50. Really because, you know, we want to go back sometime soon to make sure we uh, keep making um, money. Oh, do we really need to? Uh, we'll see. We'll play it by ear. You know, we'll play it by ear. Is that Gabriel? It's been a while. Yeah, Gabriel. Okay, that's... One my, my infantryman, and he just killed two of my cavalry again. Because he was a Banner Knight army, fair enough. That probably... Nothing I would have probably done in the battle would have probably changed that, actually. Right, quickly level up my troops again. 
honestly, a little fucker. What am I gonna do, eh? What the hell am I gonna do? I don't think we're... Honestly, we're not... Probably not getting the most decent weapons either, purely because we're, uh... We're not fighting, um... Well, a lot of the people we're fighting aren't, like, you know, renowned infantry. We're just fighting kind of bog-standard little shits. At least we're fight probably getting some decent armor because all the banner knights we're fighting. That's probably the only kind of like good thing. Again, 47 cavalry. I don't really want to fight that many banner knights. Purely because there's a higher chance I'll actually have to, you know, rebuild my army. Sucks. Takes too long, you know? Who else are we at war with? Okay, yeah, it's literally the three people we've already been fighting a lot. Stop there. Okay, dude, let's fight you because apparently you're like one of the few people we actually can fight. On my command, cavalry, so kill them all. Yeah, there's no reason for us to, uh, you know, no reason for us not to charge. They just don't have. They don't have enough men for me to give a shit. Not what I meant to do, but I'll take it. Let's do a little bit of first-person action. Spice it up a little bit, you know. We've uh, we've been we've been having victory after victory because of how cool we are. I also do think it's a lot more fun to play in first person sometimes. Like once you get used to it. I think the only time I don't like first person is honestly on the ground in infantry. Uh, as like an infantryman, it just I feel like it just it's well it's a lot harder to see everything, you know. everyone yeah near enough that is actually i said i was saying it a little sarcastically but you know that was yep that was not a hard fight at all kind of expecting that to take a little bit longer than it took a bit rude honestly a bit rude you know i don't know if i'm gonna be able to get much more prisoners easily i think yeah i think we'll also we'll take three more prisoners and then we'll you know we'll go because honestly 66 fucking cavalry. Holy shit. Stop there. All right, fair enough. Let's do it. This is going to be, again, be pure pain, cavalry. but... Yeah, that's probably the best thing to do there is uh, have our uh, infantry commanding... Uh, and uh, what's it called? My cro uh, crossbows on um, delegate. That way they... Uh, act a little bit intelligently instead of me just telling them to charge. I say intelligently like, you know, it, they'll probably do better than what they would with my help, but they'll probably at least be alive a little longer because they'll actually be doing something intelligent. And we did lose a cavalry. Expected, honestly. Completely expected. I expected to lose a lot more than one, to be fair. So, honestly, one loss against 60-odd cavalry. Not bad, to be fair. Not bad at all. In prison, your little dumbass goes. Unfortunately, though, I don't know if we're going to be able to find anyone else quickly enough to get a good fight out of. Due to, like, you know, how long it takes for us to seem to catch anyone. We will, of course, just, uh... Chuck everything away as we can. That's a point. Um, do our men... Do we have any more... We do have a spear wall banner. I don't know which of you leads my infantry, so I need to figure that out. Oops, forgot to throw away stuff. Uh... Yeah, we need to figure out which of these idiots leads our infantry. Um, H of five. Uh, let's give you intelligence, and then you can go fight some mobiles. Why not? I 
Yeah, they've got marshals. Good for them. It's... I have no fucking clue how we call you. Uh, but we're going to leave it to the next boss. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did enjoy, please do follow me on YouTube. Leave a like, leave a comment, leave a share. But most importantly, guys, stay safe. Have a great day. Join the channel memberships if you're interested. And I'll see you in the next one. See you guys then.